Oh, good morning, Grace Chapel. Uh, baptisms are my favorite thing that we get to do on a Sunday morning. So uh, I'm not even going to apologize for my excitement. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, first up, I have my pal Hannah right here. Hannah, how about you slip these glorious jellies right here, and uh, then you can slip those back on afterward. Sweet. Climb on in right there. Yeah, perfect. You know, you're our test subject. Is it warm? Phew. Okay, good. Good. Come on up here. Come, come hold on to the, the, the front here. Stand up nice and tall. There we go. Hannah, how old are you? Eight or nine, somewhere around there. <laughs> That's awesome. So, really, really cool thing. When I met with Hannah this last week, uh, with, with Hannah and her mom, Hannah got baptized when she was about four. Um, and she, she admitted that she just kind of did it because she wanted to go play in water. It looked like it was exciting. And what she said was, I want to get baptized for the right reasons because I love Jesus. So can we just give it up for Hannah? Uh, that, <laughs> that is amazing. I told her that, that not many adults can even make that, that uh, declaration. So well done, Hannah. That's incredible. Uh, do you want to read why you're getting baptized today or is mom going to read that for you? Mom's going to read it for you? Okay. I'll hold the mic, mom. You can read it. Okay. I want to get baptized because I feel like when I was little at four, I did it to play in the water, not because I wanted to show God, I wanted to be with him. When I heard that there were going to be baptisms, I felt like God was calling me to do it this time. This time, baptiz baptism means to me that I'm giving my life to God, and I want to show God that I want to live for his glory, and that I believe my sins have been forgiven by Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Woo! So, Hannah, because you are so mature and amazing and awesome, and because you love Jesus... It is my pleasure to baptize you today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You remember that pose we practiced? Grab the nose, get the elbow, there we go. All right, next up we have my pal Brooklyn. Come on in, Brooklyn. Come on over. We've got Brooklyn's mom and dad here with us this morning. Is it warm? Oh, good. Just making sure Hannah wasn't pulling a prank on you. Just like Hannah did, come on up to the front here. Hold on to the side. There you go. Can we still see Brooklyn? She's just, just over the top. Perfect. Brooklyn, how old are you? Seven. Seven. She didn't want to mix it up. Cool. <laughs> that is so awesome. I love that you were getting baptized at seven. That is fantastic. Would you like to tell us why you're getting baptized? I asked Jesus into my heart in kindergarten. I learned about being baptized at church. I want to be with Jesus in heaven someday. I want to be baptized today as the next step in my walk with Jesus as his follower. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Dad, you want to come over here? Brooklyn's mom and dad are going to baptize her today. So Brooklyn... Because you love Jesus and you want to take your next step in your journey with him, it is your dad and mom's pleasure and honor today to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Get that nose. There you go. <laughs> and now you get to wrap up in a nice warm towel and just wait for everybody else. Next, we have Shannon, Stacy, and Ann are standing with her this morning. There you go. All right, Shannon, do you want to tell us why you want to get baptized this morning? 
Well, about two months ago, I started coming to Grace, and it was uh, different for me because I was not a religious person. I drove by many times, and something kept telling me to check it out. Um, it was hard for me to understand, but I worked up the courage to go and was blown away by the first service and the way that it made me feel. I feel like that day I had a spiritual awakening and feel like ever since then, the floodgates have opened, pouring in God's love and filling me with light that I didn't know was missing. I know um, now who my Lord and Savior is, who died on the cross, and I will continue to strengthen my relationship with him and build my life around him. Right? Okay, here, let's give this to Anne. All right, go ahead and sit down. Oh, Shannon, it is my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, next, Luke Duby. Tyler Duby is getting baptized first. Yep. How's the water? It's nice and warm. It's good. <laughs> Tyler, do you want to tell us about where you're at? So I've been a Christian for a long time. I've uh, watched many baptisms with tear-filled eyes. I knew God had a special day planned for our family. I get to get baptized in front of my wife and kids, and then I get to baptize my son right after this. So he had a special moment for our family, and that's today. So uh, we're looking forward to it. All right. So, Tyler, you, obviously, you just confessed that you believe Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes. I do. Okay, so it is. <laughs> We're not married, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so it's Alex and my privilege and honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now it's Luke's turn. You ready, buddy? Why do you want to get baptized today? Because I want to be on Jesus' team. So, do you believe Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes. All right. Your grandpa and your dad are going to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for everybody, but I also just want to say really quick, because we talk a lot about community and the importance of community and the fact that this is a really big room, and we need those smaller spaces to be known. Um, so Gary is my husband. I know a lot of you don't get to see him with me around a lot, but a lot of years ago, we started a small group for young marrieds that Tyler and Sierra and multiple others were a part of. And so... Like, this is the fruit of community. Like, this opportunity, this moment, is just really beautiful. And now we're, like, passing that on to this next generation that didn't exist when we started our group. Um, there are so many kiddos, but um, that's just a real blessing. And so when we talk about it, like, this is the fruit of community that we talk about when we're saying, like, join 
get in. Find that place what that is smaller, that is that place that you can be known. Um, this is why. So, all right. Holy Spirit, we are just so incredibly blessed to watch the way that you are moving. Um, we thank you for each one of these, for Brooklyn and for Hannah and for Shannon and for Tyler and for Luke. The decisions that they have made to say yes to you, to inviting you into their life. Um, but also then to say, like, and now I want to make this public statement of identity with Jesus. And so, Jesus, just as you were baptized in the water, we know that you invite us to be baptized as, an, as a picture of being that new creation in you. Um, and so we just pray that blessing over each of them. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would not only seal this moment, um, but that you would be, you are the seal on each of their hearts of their relationship with Jesus. And we pray for the fruit and the strength and the power that comes from that. And we thank you that we do not have to walk this out alone, um, but you are with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi. This is Aubrey. Aubrey's in the seventh grade. So Aubrey's going to be getting baptized by me and her wonderful leader, Michaela. And Michaela's going to share why Aubrey wants to get baptized. Good morning. So Aubrey wrote this down so beautifully. It says, I was baptized nine years ago when I was four years old. I don't remember what much from when I was baptized, but I do remember not really knowing what I was doing. I didn't know what it meant to be baptized or what it meant to step into a life with Christ. Over the summer, though, that definitely changed. This summer was the first time I've said yes to Jesus. Ever since I said yes to him, I've had so much joy in my life. I've been able to recognize the things he does in my life and the opportunities he's given me. A few nights ago, I was praying about baptisms, asking God if I should be rebaptized. I told him I was scared to do it with so many people staring at me, and as I prayed, I heard him tell me he was with me. He was with me then, and he would be there when I got baptized and every moment after. He told me to do it before because he knows that this is the next step in becoming closer to him in his word. All right, Aubrey, are you trusting in Christ for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Yay. All right, it's our honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So this is Jonathan. Jonathan, you can climb up right in there. Uh, Jonathan's part of our young adults community, and he's been here since at least since we opened the building, whether it was here early with chairs or just around for whatever event he could find. Um, and it's just been really awesome to get to know him uh, over, the, over the last two years. Um, yeah, and just a really exciting day. Uh, his mom gets to be here to see this too. So he has a couple of words that he wants to share. Um. Many of you don't know me, but I was here before. I've been, um, well, I've moved a lot of places. Um, but I was in Oregon also for Ardent when the, the church didn't look like this. Um, but I wanted to talk about um, how I feel, um, well, I feel comfortable at home when it's me and Jesus in prayer. Jonathan, you ready? Awesome. Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yeah. Awesome. And it's our pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
All right, next up we have Lucy. Lucy is a sixth grade, here, you want me to hold that? There you go. Sixth grade girl in Ardent. And I'm so excited for her to share with you guys why she wants to get baptized. This is Lucy, everybody. I want to get baptized today because you might not believe this, but moving into middle school was a struggle with friends and trauma and stuff. But I know that Jesus was there through it all. I got that Jesus that has, has always been with been there, but I feel like he's been more present in my life lately. I want to get baptized today to let go of all my worries and grief and to feel like a real part of my people. That's awesome. Thank you, Lucy. Okay, and I just have to tell you guys, that was not just Lucy's speech. We're in small group together every week at Ardent, and Lucy is so good at noticing where God is, like, showing up for her, and even sharing that with her friends, and I just want you to know, you getting baptized today is, like, a huge testimony of you being aware of God working in your life, and I'm so proud of you. Okay, Lucy, do you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Okay, well, it is your dad and my absolute joy and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's so amazing. Hey, would you guys join me in a word of prayer? Uh, we just want to pray blessing over them and just uh, God's favor and grace. So, Jesus, thank you so much for all these baptisms this morning. Uh, Jesus, we're just so delighted. Just every time someone shares about what you're doing in their life, it has an echo in the room to all of our hearts. And so thank you for every word that was shared. Thank you for the courage that they identify with you and want to be known to others in the room, that they love you, they want to follow you. So I just pray protection, covering, blessing, joy, in your favor over them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, could you give it up again one more time? <laughs> 